Hi folks, Rich Burdess from Friday Days Christchurch um, in the sunny New Zealand today. Um, as we transition from level four lockdown to level three next week, come up with um, an app template that's available or will be available soon to be able to trace your employees um, and see where they've been working from in case you're needed to do any contact tracing. Um, it's a bit of a, um, an ongoing issue um, out there in terms of tracking people. Um, and as more people will head back to offices or work from other locations rather than home, then it becomes a bit more paramount as a, a thing to be able to keep a handle on in case you need to quickly trace things because speed is of the essence in that area. So what, what we've done is got a couple of different apps, one for an individual employee to have on their phone uh, to sign in, sign out from their locations, and another master admin type app that allows people to, uh, an ad, allows an admin to trace an employee, get reports. Um, now, I was inspired with the Microsoft Crisis Communications template that came out, and I really liked how you could deploy it um, using a couple of variables um, and use Power Automate to build your SharePoint lists, libraries, of everything you need within your master SharePoint site collection to, as your back-end data source. Our application uses, so if you haven't seen that app, make sure you get out and have a look, watch the video for how to build and deploy the comms solution. It's it, useful and shows a very good low code method in terms of building out a solution in a, a rapid time. Um, so the hub uses the same backend data source. Now what we, same sort of SharePoint data source, but what we've been able to do is use the starts with function um, in Power Apps to be able to bypass the delegable or the non-delegable issues within SharePoint. So what that means, if you, if you don't know much about delegable limits or non-delegable data sources, then Within SharePoint, if we use the starts with, we can overcome that to be able to just look up the first 2,000 items in SharePoint. So we can go to much bigger lists and work with larger numbers. So it's useful if we need to get 28 days of an individual employee's activities and we've got lots of employees posting their data into um, the same data source. So this app's designed for your small, medium sized enterprise. Um, if you were to go with the SharePoint data source, if you were to go much larger, organizations then you'd be looking at the common data service or SQL and Azure as your data source to keep those bigger numbers and make use of the, the wider enterprise size of those applications. So as a quick overview, this is what our application does. So I'll start with the basic end user option. Um, we've got simple sign in. It knows who I am. I don't need to change that. I am me. Um, I can say I work from home and no, I didn't meet anybody. And it's done. Easy as that. So the idea is minimal clicking, employees, doesn't get in the way of what they're doing. Um, and if I sign in again, so I've gone out to the um, Christchurch office and I met Lee. Right, so put that in. Making use of the, the functionality of pop-ups within Power Apps, just to make it easy. And I don't need to record that, I can jump back in and change it, but I can yeah. sign in. So I've got a couple of sign-ins against my name. As an individual, I can sign out, or if I forget to sign out that day, um, I know my employer doesn't want me to work through the night, so at 3 a.m. in the morning, there's another Power Automate runs on a scheduled job to sign anyone out that's currently signed in. Depending on the kind of industry you work in, then you might want to toggle that, but for us regular consultants working eight to eight, um, seven days a week, then we, uh, we we know we're not working at three in the morning, so we can use it then. But if I want to sign myself out, I've got my record using the starts with function to be able to see where I am. And again, on a phone, it's designed as a nice, easy push button. So sign me out of there and then sign out again. I could keep that, keep me on the screen. Uh, let's keep the Christchurch office one signed in, um, but if I wanted to, but depending on, the idea is you'll be signing in, signing out. You won't be signing out from multiple locations, but that could be easily toggled as well. So then over in your master contact hub, we can see where people are working from. We've got me and the Christchurch office and someone up in Auckland. So let's have a look. Let's see who signed in where. So we can see Sean's up in Auckland and Bruce's in Christchurch. If I can sign him out from here. That will again sign him out, change the status. So we set the view here. I can search, um, but say someone in our employee needs um, to be traced. We need to know where has our righteous leader leaving. Or I'll show you this first of all with no no searches in there. We've got everybody, um, but let's see where Lee Lee has been. So we're using starts with to search or filter the gallery. Got all his actions and we can see, got a couple of highlights that he's met others outside the, in the last two weeks. 
Um, so then I can either jump into my SharePoint list to extract this data, or I can just quickly, quickly, sorry, click export and create a CSV of this record, just like that. Uh, obviously, if you've got thousands of records you're trawling through, it's going to take a little bit longer, but this one, nice and quick, runs Power Automate with a respond back to Power Apps to make it easy to see. Um, and we've got the nice headers of where uh, all the columns, so it makes sense. And then I can then pass that on to um, Ministry of Health or whoever I need to um, in terms of reaching out and letting an employer um, do their obligation as part of um, the requirements of tracking where employees have worked over the last period where they might have been able to pass on COVID-19 or any other pandemic issue to others. So I'll be putting out a more in-depth overview of how to do the export piece, but this is a quick overview of what we've got. So trace, sign in, manage your locations, add new offices, um, depending on what you need. Um, sign yourself out, just in case you're the admin and you forget to do it yourself, but then sign someone else in. So say I want to sign in, uh, let's go for Nate. Hey Nate, sign him in. Uh, but let's say you work from Dunedin today. Um, and rather than the individual sign-in, I can actually go back in time and toggle him in case he forgot to do it yesterday, right? And I'm just coming in and cleaning up the work. Um, and I do a kind of pick up the now time um, for when I'm recording it, but there we go, sign him in. Um, and then obviously, similar to the Crisis Comms app, we've got another screen with SharePoint news pages showing up in here, um, key contacts if there were any, and then other resources that I might need to look at. If I'm an admin, want to check on any particular, can I do that, should I do that, what's needed, um, just as a, 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 an extra screen. May not be needed, but it's there in case people need it. And over here, obviously, we've got lookups, the counts, to say who's in, who's out, um, and we can refresh that as we need to. So as a very quick overview, that's our tracing solution using um, the Power Platform. There are other solutions out there that will work as well. This is one, if you're already paying for Office 365, then this one you can deploy straight away immediately into your organization with minimal um, effort required. Um, fit for purpose and will help you if you're a small, medium-sized enterprise. Um, again, I'll be putting out more information on this um, over the next coming days. But um, any questions, please reach out to me or to Brighter Days in general, um, at Lee Stevens as well, um, or Lee at brighterdays.co.nz, um, or just ping me. Thanks very much. Bye-bye.